Hey YouTube, Copper Samuel, thanks for tuning in again. Maple Story has changed a lot in the last 10 years. It is time for the 10 year challenge. Maple Story was a completely different beast in 2009. In that year, the Knights of Sickness were released. Their maximum level was 120, and they had completely different skills back then. For example, the Wind Archer was able to transform into a more powerful avatar, unlocking new skills, like all that kind of weird stuff. This is also the year where Aaron was released. Aaron was one of the first hero classes, and he was one of the first classes who was using a somewhat different type of system with his combo mechanics. Aaron was a guy back then, by the way. He, he definitely went through a bit of a transformation in those 10 years. 2009 also marked the start of Maple Story taking its story a bit more serious. Rumors of a black mage who was eager to destroy the world started to surface. Funny how 10 years later we finally finished wrapping up that storyline. I mean, the Big Bang update wasn't even released back then. So what were people doing back then? Well, besides watching Maple Story videos about trumpets, Bring on the trumpets! Well, people were mainly doing PQs. Ludi PQ, Monster Carnival PQ, that's where it was at. Those were generally the quickest ways to level up back then. And training spots have gone through a lot of changes, from PQs to party play zones to just grinding solo, which is what most people do nowadays. PQs are... well, yeah. And once you are a bit higher level, you would hunt Mushmom and Zombie Mushmom for those scrolls to sell. Scrolls for Glow for Attack were one of the most valuable scrolls back then. And Eelbeast sold for like 10 million. 2.1 billion was by the way the max amount of masses you could have. Ah, weird times. So where were people training? Well, Wolf Spirits were one of the more popular training spots. Those monsters actually dropped those Eelbeasts and you're quite easy to kill for those overpowered sauna rope wearing Dexless Assassins. Speaking of assassins, I even found a group of those dexless monsters destroying Zaken. Bossing was also a bit different back then. You needed usually at least 6 people to fight against Zaken, who nowadays dies in about 3 auto attacks. We gained a lot of other bosses in return though, which all used various different mechanics. I would say that bosses actually are a bit more fun. Plus we finally got the final Maple Story boss, the Black Mage himself. What are your fondest memories and how has those 10 years changed you? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.